morning today is or afternoon today is tuesday july 9th it's been hot sunday we broke a record of 120 <laughs> so i've been home um friday i did go out and you know, went to the immersive immersive disney animation down at the crystal shops by aria casino it was really cool not what if it wasn't worth the price what i paid for well, it was worth the price what I paid for it. I paid nothing, but if I had to buy a ticket, it wasn't worth it. Um, I felt the same thing seeing the Da Vinci immersive thing a couple of years ago. But with the Disney thing, they added a couple touches, like during um, part of, no, not part of it, under the sea. They had bubbles blow, come, blowing in and all the kids we're jumping around trying to pop them that part was annoying but it was cool and then during frozen 2 um they hit, again they did the bubble thing but they felt like smoke in the bubbles so that was really cool and um i got there early because i wanted to know where the place was at and traffic and everything I didn't use the gift card going there. I saved it for going back, which was a good thing. <laughs> um, so it, the mall is weirdly shaped because the only thing on the third floor was the immersive thing place. And well, there's escalators and elevators too, but the only thing like shop wise or whatever was the immersive thing. So like I said, I got there early. I did walk around um, and I ended up going, because there's a pedestrian bridge from the shops to the Cosmopolitan Hotel and Casino. So I popped over there. I did bring a mask with me. I didn't wear it when I first got there because it wasn't really that crowded at the mall. I mean, there was like groups of people coming in, but that was from like, coming in from the Cosmo over here. So I stopped at the milk bar. It's like a bakery thing. And I wanted to try. I got the pie that their specialty and it was really good, but not for $7 and change, but it's the strip. So yeah. And um, so sat there a little bit, then walked back. I did put the mask on when I, well, not right when I got to the mall, when I checked in for house seats and got into the place. And then I put the mask on because there was a lot of people. I mean, it wasn't a ton of people, but you know, you know, I wanted to be safe. And um, the thing was like 53 minutes or so. And then walked out, walked across to best she pedestrian bridge to Cosmo and then the pedestrian bridge from Cosmopolitan to Planet Hollywood but I don't do escalators going down I so I was going to take the elevator but the elevator was out of order so I walked back and the elevator that was by the, Cosm Cosm the Cosmopolitan outside you know the pedestrian bridge that was also out of order so I had to go into the casino and use that elevator and then walk to the Miracle Mile shops because I wanted to get Garrett's popcorn. And they have a, well, it's not an escalator. It's like an escalator. It's like a walk thing, like at the um, airports, but it goes up. <laughs> and the railing for that rubber but it was very hot <laughs> and then I got the popcorn and walked got went back outside and going down the stairs and the railings for the stairs was very hot because it was metal so I took a napkin from Garrett's and used that to hold on to the railing going down and then I went to take Go to, I went to the Paris Hotel Casino and took the ride share from there and I scratched off the gift card to use. And good thing I saved it going home because 
it cost me way less than it cost me like eight dollars and change going home with the gift card and if I didn't use the gift card it would have cost me like thirty four dollars and change which I would have probably still be there waiting for the price to go down <laughs> so yeah and then came home and um, oh in the beginning Friday morning I decided to go to Winco I don't know why <laughs> well there, I wanted some things to make for dinner for the next couple weeks or whatever and I spent way too much I was like in shock how much I spent <laughs> Um, there was th lots of things that I shouldn't have gotten. <laughs> um, I did get another pack of chicken breasts, but anyway. So I had bought a roasted chicken at Winco yesterday. So I had that the last four days. So I was glad I bought that when I came home Friday because I was not going to cook. <laughs> so, um, and then... Saturday, I was sitting at the table working on the diamond painting, which I finished last night, and I felt, that's the diamond painting, and I felt like pain, not excruciating, not excruciating pain, but I felt not normal, so I look at my elbow. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, you see that little lump over there? Yeah, that's what was hurting me. And I'm looking, I'm like, why is it swollen? Why do I have a lump? I got scared. Because at first I'm like, I don't remember hitting anything, especially on the inner elbow. Well, not in her, but, you know, the side of that arm. I'm like, I don't remember hitting anything and stuff. And I was like, I already had thought, bad thoughts in my head of what it could be. Because <laughs> it's me and I always think the worst. And I'm like, stop thinking that. And um, so I decided to ice it. I, you know, ice it up on and off on Saturday. On and off on Sunday. It wasn't really any better, and I did the same thing on Monday. I yesterday iced it on and off, and um, just a little ago, I decided to call the doctor. You know, when I first saw it Saturday, I'm like, I don't want to go back to the doctor. <laughs> so, but I'm like, I'm gonna. I called. A little while ago to make an appointment to see him. So I'm going Thursday morning. So yay. I'm really hoping it's nothing. But yeah. Still waiting to hear from the referrals. I know it'll probably take a while. That's what's been going on here. A little stressed with the arm thing. <laughs> um, my neighbors, I don't, they're not officially, the new neighbors, they're not officially moved in. Um, I saw yesterday there was people over working on the house. And a little bit this morning, I saw the, one, the new neighbor coming in and bringing stuff. So, because I looked on, uh, I looked on Realtor, and it was the other day, I think, yeah, the other day, and it said that it was off market, and I'm like, huh, that's odd, because it was pending, like, forever, thinking that it, it fell through, <laughs> so I tried Zillow, and it said sold, and I'm like, okay, and it, they finish whatever on the third. So, so I got something to look at when uh, I'm in here. So, I don't know if you can tell I'm a little stressed about the arm because, yeah. 
So anyway, that's it for right now. See you guys later. Good morning. Today is Thursday, July 11th. Still nervous, anxiety, scared, you name it, about my arm. You see, hopefully it's still swollen by the elbow. Just got back from the doctor's office. I had the same nurse in the same room as last week. And I was telling the nurse, you know, about, you know, she asked why I was here. And I was telling her, I'm like, I was just here. I didn't really call again. And she's like, so um, she asked if, because I didn't get weighed when I first walked in to go in the, the office. And she's like, do you want to get weighed again? And I said, no. So she just took what I weighed last week for this weight. And I actually lost a pound last week. Or not lost. I gained a pound from the last time I was there, which is like amazing. Considering I haven't been moving as much. I've been eating badly. <laughs> I'm still eating badly. So, yeah, that's kind of good news. Um... I mean, I've been walking, but not nowhere as, nowhere as near as I was the fall and spring and winter. So, yeah. So, the doctor came in. He looked at my arm. He touched the arm. And um, he referred me to get an MRI done. And I was telling him, because I told him and I told the nurse I've been stressing about this and stuff. That's all I've been thinking about because I'm by myself and that's all I can do, even though I try not to. Because I, you know, told him, you know, my mom years ago, she was coming home from a Vegas trip or going to a Vegas trip. Now I'm remembering it's like when the Bears went to the Super Bowl, not in '85, <laughs> it was more recent, and. They were going to go to the Pro Bowl, but that's a whole nother, they got, my parents and a lot of people got scammed about going to the Pro Bowl to Hawaii. But anyway, they were, they were coming to Vegas and my mom discovered like something on by her groin and it kept moving and stuff. So when she came home, she went to her surgeon when she had for her um, breast cancer and he thought, the surgeon thought it was hernia. So he was, went she went to get it removed and it wasn't a hernia it was not Hodgkin's lymphoma so like uh, that's what I'm like I said I've been thinking not so nice thoughts <laughs> and so yeah so gave me the referral he's like call there right away to schedule the appointment so I was I was going to call there at the doctor's office because it's like right across the street. Hopefully, I know foolish thinking I can just go today, <laughs> get it done. Um, but I tried calling there, got recordings and stuff, and I was going to do it online. I'm like, forget it. Plus, I was like looking at prices to go home. I was going to go somewhere else like that's around there, but I decided just to go home. And, um, so I just got off the phone with making the appointment and it's nuts. Cause I, when I called on my cell phone, I got like all kinds of press, say this, say that, blah, blah, blah. And when I called on here with the landline, I didn't get all that rigmarole. <laughs> I just, you know, rang, a computer was speaking to me. And then it rang again. An IT representative came, you know, spoke about scheduling online. And then I got through. <laughs> and then I got on hold again. And then I got to talked to somebody else. So, so I'm going next. I'm going on the 16th to get the MRI done with or without contrast. And I don't know. I My mom's been through every tests known a man for all her cancers and stuff ct scans mris pet scans you name it <laughs> um and i knew what an mri is <laughs> i wasn't thinking i thought it was like a ct scan for some strange reason you know going a tube 
<laughs> well, not too, well, you do go in a tube for an MRI, but I mean, open thing. So he, the guy goes, are you claustroph claustrophobic? I can say it. And I said, kind of. He goes, do you need to be sedated? And I'm like, I don't think so. <laughs> and then it dawned on me what the MRI, you know, <laughs> what the MRI is. You go on a tube. And I sent it and told him. And when I went to for a CT scan, I get a little nervous, you know, getting close to the thing. You know, open, you know, to go the machine. So we'll sh we shall see how I do. I'm like, I can always close my eyes. So go in at 11.30 on Tuesday. I have to be there a half hour early, which is no problem. So I wish it was sooner to get my stress level over with. I'm praying it's nothing. It's just fat or whatever. But, you know. Yeah, it sucks being alone, especially now. But, yeah, so anyway, um, yesterday, no, yesterday, the day before, I made pasta salad with the protein pasta that I got at Albertsons. And when I went to Winco, I bought zucchini, a cucumber, and I did buy mushrooms to put in it, but I didn't use mushrooms. I used that for something else. And corn I put in there, frozen corn, and the pasta. And then I, I had it last night and I put some of the feta cheese in there. And that was really good. I have more than enough for a couple days. <laughs> and uh, yeah, um, I think that's about it for right now. So, see you guys later.